Okay, friends, we're in the old shop here. Got the Pioneer up on the deck, um, giving her a little filing. This is kind of a, uh, it, it's an old chain. You can see it's loose. It's because I have no adjustment here right now and it's on 404 and I'm just gonna leave it on for, for a test cut here. I got the bar pulled up, tight as it, whatever. It'll be good enough for a test cut, but it is completely, completely like, it, it's dull, like, I mean, dull, dull. And this chain, for some reason, is like, I don't know, it, it's like a husky chain or something. It's 404, oh, what is it? No, it's organ, but it's an old, old organ chain. And I'm gonna show you what I talk about, and this is why we get the gullet, friends. This is why we get the gullet, and this is not what you want when when you start filing your power saws and i talk about the ski jump and i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about okay just bear with me while i take this phone off okay so i i'm filing the other side i'm filing mr nick pixel i have completed my task and i'm telling you right now my good friend that side there okay but you see the ski jump I talk about see what's happening the gullet is starting to disappear it's going back like it's it, you, you guys know what I'm saying don't you okay so let's right I'm, ha excuse me, I'm, ha there it is there. There's the other side. I'm hammering that gullet back into it. See, see the corner? You can see that, eh? It's smashed right off it. Look at the corner of that tooth, gone. And then you, you can see what's happening. Well, it's kind so of not what we want. And it's a small chain. This would be, if any, if any chain, you could you could use a, a, a 1360 force on this chain. It's an old organ chain. It's not a very tall chain. You could very easily use a 1360 force at this stage. I don't bother because what I do is I go like this. I file down, right down. I get under the tooth and then I do my cleanup strokes and I end up with a very, very usable gullet. See like this and I file right into the link and I ain't worried about it one bit. Like I'm right into the link, okay? I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about, okay, friends? Let's say you've got a 730 seconds file and that's what you got, right? Let's go down even a little further. Let, let's make this go down a little bit further with my new stand. I love this new stand, actually. I wonder if we shan't come in a bit, friends. What would happen? Tell me what would happen if I went like that. Boom, oh, we're lucking out. We are lucking right out, friends. Look at that. <laughs> I love this thing. Look at the corner of that tooth. <laughs> Look at it. It's bashed right off and bent over. So, and you can see what's happening. See, there's, it almost looked like the guy was down there and then he went to file it and he, and he, he made a whole new, you know what I'm saying? So I wanna show you something. I want to show you something. I'm in a difficult position, but it'll still work. See my file? 
This is a 730 seconds file. Look at it. Look at, right? Okay. Look at all this meat. Look at how high that sits up. Okay. So now here is, I think I might have a 1364. I think this, yes, it is. 1364 made in Germany. Okay. So see this? You see that? Look at where that file is now. But look at, okay. So this will this will most definitely work. It will look look at the look at this wobbling like crazy. But I, I don't. This is the thirteen, right? Like being underneath. Now now watch what happened. Okay. See we we went after. So what happens now is we're able. We've got a, a that that's actually a, a realistic hook. There's nothing wrong with that, friends. But it's still not sharp. The top is is ragged still. But the problem is, is we got all this gullet. So here's what I do. I grab ye old 730 seconds, friends. It's just what I do. It's where I come from. I've never used the 1364s. Here's a freaking, here it is right here. And this is what I do. Watch what I'm doing. You're right okay, friends, there. you can't see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to speed through till I'm done and take a look what happens. But you, you can see just what happened there, can't you? Look at what just happened. I wiped out the entire gullet and came flat across and I'm not done. I'm not, I'm not done. But look, this is what I'm talking about. See, see now? It's up against the tooth. It's sharpening all edges and we're not down yet. Friends, we're not. Like I know my hand's in the way, but if I go like this, See, you, you can kind of see what, what's happening. I'm filing down, like down on an angle, like this. See? Down. Not flat, not like this, like this. And that wipes gullet. Look it. Now we're flat on the tooth. Now we're right flat. So now that I've got that, you see that? See how see how we're we're dipping down now? Okay? Now for cleanup strokes, I just lay out. So again, flat. friends, this I have a better angle in a minute, but and just hang on. I go through here and I lighten up on my stroke and I go I'm level really to clean up that top. There part. it is. That is a finished. That's what I do to, to a chain that has been orangutangly beat up. That is what a chain will look like out of the factory. And the reason I know that is this, because I've kept chain here, hanging here for my whole freaking life. There we go. Would you look at that? That's, that's what, it, there it is. That's the chain factory right there. Well, let's drop it. Let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Let's slide this back. There you are. Okay. There it is. That'll cut like mad. It'll cut like mad. But will, will this cut like mad? Oh, heavens no, friends. No, no, this, this isn't, it, look at this. Look at freaking this. Let's go backwards just in order to get this out of here. Oh my gosh, look at that top plate. It, it, oh, look at the ski jump happening. <laughs> look at it. Friends, so, <laughs> do, do you know that old saying, uh, rakers are dull chain overrides? <laughs> this is... Friends, I took a whole bunch off the chain. I had to, to get that big rock out of the top plate, right? The corner was smacked right off it. So I took a fair bit off of that chain, a lot of strokes. Well, what happens then? You would think your rakers would be high and you'd have to set your rakers. While I threw the old Carlton on there, this sucker right here, let me show you. Just hang tight with there. Would you look at that sucker right there? That's indeed the one I used. Indeed I did. I told you that, didn't I? Now, so we done that. And uh, friends, I, I'm telling you straight goods. It Well, you can see it. If you look closely, you can see the raker is way down. That's because of his chain. There's no hook. He's ski jumping it. And it's just brutal. That's why the, he, he, he files it and he goes, digs it into the wood. He goes, what's the matter? I just filed it. And then he, racks, he cr cracks his rakers down. Dull chain override. I love that. I think that was an iron horse saying. Anyways, regardless, I forget what I was going to say, but I did say some things, didn't I, in this interjection? I just got back from Morgan's. We threw the gas tank in Myrtle. She's getting prepared for the 4,000-mile road trip. 
We're excited as all be out, whatever that meant. Um, but there was something else. Oh, okay. So as I'm filing here, the Rakers, I did not, it didn't even, I don't think I show it because I put them on there and it didn't really do anything. So I just quickly went over them just to make sure there wasn't any high ones. And there was, it was the odd one. It was all over this chain, all over. <laughs> look at it, friends. Okay, look. Brand new. There's your hook. Look what's happened. Look at all the gullet left in there. That's really not gonna cut that good. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna show you a little something. I'm gonna change this angle though, and from here, watch that gullet disappear. How about this? How about that right there? Watch this material leave right now. I'm just gonna deal with this uncomfortable spot. You see the angle of the file, friends? So this is how I will start sometimes when reviving a chain. See my angle? I'm going down. And I gradually, with each stroke, I'll probably do three or four straight down. It wipes the outside of the gullet down like this. Then I start gradually changing the angle. And by that time, by that time, I've created a gullet. And now, I'm actually going flat across now. I'm filing straight down, okay? Then you ask yourself, okay? So now we give it a wipe. Let's have a look. Oh, well that's looking much, much better, isn't it? it, 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 it. Yes, it is. So now, now that we've gotten underneath the, there, so we're not done there. We're, we're not friends, we're not done. That is not finished. What will be finished is when I go like this. when I get the burr out of there. And then what'll happen is that'll make that hook not look so aggressive. I know it's a lot of filing, isn't it? Well, sure it is, because you want the thing to cut, don't you? There we go. That's her. There we go. See the hump that the guy left? Huge difference, friends. Look at that. This has all gotta be filed. All of it, right? Right? Yeah. So, friends. Good morning. I have to interject. I just freaking have to. It's Saturday. I'm putting out this video. Um, I just, you know, <clears throat> it's a sunny day. It's hot. I got um, lawns to mow to finish up from last night. But I'm going to tell you something. The reason I'm interjecting right now is because this is important if you do this type of thing. Okay? Notice the rakers, friends. Look at how low they are. Seriously, I'm, I'm telling you straight up. This is the classic. When you buy an old power saw or, 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 or just, you know what I mean? You get these chains and these old bars that are on these power saws. This is the prime example of what happens when you get an old, just a saw from somewhere. That's, a fella doesn't know what he's doing on the, on the file. It, it just, this is it. He files it. He tries to get it sharp. It doesn't cut. He goes, I'm going to whack my rakers right down. And then now it's like that <clears throat> and chattering and jumping all over. It's quite dangerous. And it turns a man off of, of, of running power saw. It takes some of the joy out of it. Frustration becomes an issue and it's just not good. Low rakers, they're for certain things. For extremely powerful saws, racing, uh, if you know you're going to be in consistently small wood for like more than a day, like you're cutting up a, a, a logging truck load and you want to stand up and buck and just rip through wood, take them rakers down. But for falling and undercutting and, and, and smoothity, I love that word, by the way. Let's get back at this. Share this video to people. It's just using your hands. This freaking, these guides and all this stuff, throw it in the garbage. Watch these videos and start having some freaking fun. What we can do. 
so friends you'll notice the chain is hopping in and out of the bar the chain is actually loose and hanging down because of this this this, this design i grabbed this bar i don't even have my adjuster in the hole of the bar i've got the bar pulled out remember the old days when you used to just pull the bar out and hold it up and tighten the bar nuts oh, and hope for the best yeah well that's what i did here because this bar is not for this power saw this is in lieu of me getting into the wood i want to run this sucker so that's why it's all loose and jangling around is this our guy yeah it is okay yeah now we're not moving at all This is how you revive an old chain. Okay? Done. These are these are these are wrecked. Everything is reckless. Totally reckless, friends. Okay? Let's do this now. Right there. Right? See all that? See all that right there? All that material? It's up above the link. See? Look at. Boom. Watch. Watch what happens here. I'm literally filing down. You will see that hump left. You don't have to file down, friends, if you don't want to. But I, I start down and then I start gradually, gradually changing my angle till, till I'm straight across like this. And the burr leaves and the chain is sharp. Watch it, watch this, boom. See that? Look it. And now we're in there. We're sharpening the top edge, the side plate, everything. And the gullet's wiped out of it, gone. Look at that. That is, that is glorious. It's glorious. Okay, friends, I hope this helps. Just a refresher for the new folks that are coming in. Okay? You know what I mean? He, he, it's just round filing. That's it. That's all we're doing. There's this guy. Brutal. You know, look at corner gone. You have to get rid of that. This has to come back to here. It has to come back. There's no two ways about it. It has to come back. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm just gonna kind of go straight until I get it. I push down though, like I'm, I'm, I'm literally smacking this down. I'm not pulling back into the tooth, I'm filing down and using the top plate as a guide to guide me through. See, see that, see that start to evolve? Okay, now that I'm under, I know I'm under. Now I can loosen up on my on my sharpening uh, tension, right? And just start gliding and pick up a nice top plate like this. Boom. See, you soften my stroke and look what happens. Beautiful side plate. Hey, see that, friends? She's nice, okay? Let's keep rolling. Okay, friends, I just want to give you a visual of what I'm doing. Just so you see, um, uh, you know, you've seen the close up now. If you're new here, this is how you revive an old chain. I've got one side completely done. There's the odd little bird. I'm, I'm way ahead of the power head, so I'm not going like this. It's okay uh, going this way, but when it's time to go to the left, this can be a problem because your power head, your design, your chain is on this side of the saw, right? So you've got this big power head in front of you and with these big old saws it can be a problem so you got a couple options turn your vise come around get on the other side or just hang the power saw in there then come out in front of it that's the other way you can do it and that's what i usually end up doing i'll come out in front here like this like this see friends we've kind of already gone over this but i just want to give you a visual a visual of how i'm doing this and how i'm standing there if anybody's wondering for because we're at the end of the video now and this is just kind of what i do i slid that power head back a bit it helps because you can get that motor way back behind you and stay in the in the vise and it keeps you mounted and it's, it's a good thing so but i just want to show you a little bit of a visual on on what goes on here and then we're out of here i love you all friends i thank you for watching Let's lift each other up, be kind to one another. Let that fella in front of you that's trying to get in in traffic. I mean, come on now. Let's be kind. Over and out, we'll catch you on the next one. So this is how I will start sometimes in reviving a chain. See my angle? I'm going down. And I gradually, with each stroke, 
I'll probably do three or four straight down. It wipes the outside of the gullet down like this. Then I start gradually changing the angle. And by that time, by that time, I've created a gullet. And now, I'm actually going flat across now. There we go. Here we go. Okay, fine here. First cut, I've not cut with a saw yet. Loose chain, 404, full house, or pardon me, skip tooth. Uh, looks like a 36 inch bar. Um, 107 cc's of Canadian jam. Uh, first run, first run, right now. Hand file 404, skip, loose chain, the whole gamut. We got our little ball. That's a really good sign. I think the coil's breaking down, friends. Remember the coil I fixed? I fixed the coil, but it's breaking down. I can hear it. it, it I didn't think it would last. It's right in there. It's right in there. Do you remember we had to glue it? Other than that, that saw is 404 chain. It's a screamer, and that chain's just, I mean, it's adequate, most definitely adequate. Uh, it was pulling fine, but it's 404 hand filed oh well i'll have to get power saw rob over to help power saw rob are you watching i need your hand buddy oh he's coming today
friends on the back deck finishing up this video for you. Um, I had my hopes up big time and it, it's hot. Um, the coil, do you guys remember what I done to the coil? I gummed it up with shoe goo. The whole thing was decrepit and that. But the funny thing is, is about this thing is it's had spark. It still had spark, but it, it was intermittently like starting and then dying and starting and dying. So I don't know. I don't know what me and Rob were trying to track it down. He brought a coil over and it, we put it on and it didn't go. It had no spark. So we got, we got worse further off with it. So we're trying to find a coil for it. It's a different saw. It was only made for a short order. So, but did not take cut. Yeah, it did. Anyway, friends, we'll catch you on the next one. I hope you're all doing well. Buckandbillyray.com. We always appreciate you over in the store. It sure helps out our projects like this crazy 4,000 mile road trip we're going on. Every little bit helps us out on the channel, friends. Thank you all so much. Be kind, be honest, work hard. We'll catch you on the next video.